We got a new patch from Mortal Kombat 1. Let's read through the patch notes. General gameplay adjustments. Move list corrections. Localization fixes. I'm assuming that's something to do with the, the matchmaking. Fixed an issue that could cause player two to push their opponents away further during. So let's like player two side has been fixed. I hope so. We can't wait. We can't tell until we actually get a chance to, until we get a chance to test it. Fixed an issue that can cause buffered combo attack strings and buffered two and one canceled non-enhanced special moves to not be performed if a cameo ambush attack that can be canceled or branched from was executed with specific timing. So apparently enhanced special moves weren't, wasn't working after you used a ambush cameo. That is crazy because I've been dealing with that and I thought it was just me missing the combo. That's wild. Fix an issue causing some of strikers and sectors attacks to be unbreakable. All right, so they're not as strong as we thought we were, they were. All right. Character specific adjustments. Astra, fix an issue that can cause crushing knee towards back kick to pass through opponents while attacking. That's terrible. Goro cameo, stomp is now higher priority when it and his partner attacks hit on the same frame. Oh, nice. So Goro got a buff. Have it. Decaying guard, back punch, front punch and flesh wound back punch back punch no longer auto face okay cool jack's cameo ground pound is now higher priority when it's and its partner hit on the same frame all right kung glau kung concussion will now auto face when done on the landing frame after jumping over an opponent all right that's cool shu jinko mimic ice clone and ice ball will no longer be repeated by an opponent hit by time stop I never seen that issue. I don't use that cameo. Not sure. Fix an issue with the following attacks not working properly against high parry special moves. Astra. God's Wrath and Demon's Wrath can now be high parry. Light Ascension, Light Ascension and Dark Ascension can now be high parry. Baraka. Air Death Spin can no longer be high parry. Nice. Reflex Tester. Back plus front punch can no longer be high parry. Bleeding foot, back plus front punch. Second hit can no longer be high parried. All right, Shao. Power strike can now be high parried. Fixed parry inconsistency between Devastator and Classic Khan. Both can no longer be high parried. All right, Bob Buster can now be high parried. Rising Star can now be high parried. Shadow Kick can now be high parried. That's nice, because Johnny Cage was really annoying. Sento Stance Lost Way can no longer be high parried. Kung Lao knee buckle can now be high parried. Lee Mei flipping heel kick can no longer be high parried. No holes bar can no longer be high parried. Natara enhanced bad blood can no longer be high parried. Electric fly can no longer be high parried. Rain enhanced upload. Rain enhanced upflow can no longer be high parried. Geyser can no longer be high parried. There's a lot of situations that cannot be high parried. And I guess that is a good thing because I see people utilizing the high parry a lot. Scorpion, Twisted Kyo can now be high parried. Shang Tsung, Old from Gold Kick can no longer be high parried. Sindel, Enhanced Low Hairball, First Hit can now be high parried. Sub-Zero, Ice Light can no longer be high parried. That makes sense. And Tanya, Drill Kick can now be high parried. All right, so it looks like there's a lot more punishments that can be done with this situation. But the main thing about this patch is that we can now complete player two combos without having any issues. So it looks like we can finally have some even competition going on in Mortal Kombat 1. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all already know what it is. TDN signing out.